Kara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to talk about how to track your links and how to tell which links are doing the best. So first about tracking your links. If you have a WordPress blog, you want to go to get the plugin Pretty Links, okay? And what that will do is it will allow you to make a pretty link. So it uses your URL, so artsy fartsy life, and then I can make any word I want. So for Ninny's napkins, I made this link, artsy fartsy life forward slash Ninny's. And that's free. It's a free plugin and you can make as many links as you want. And then what you can do is you can track how many links you've gotten. So for Ninny's napkins, I've gotten 153 links, okay? The other thing that I do is I like to go in here and check, and I put in the notes how I check that program to see how much I've made. So I haven't made any earnings and it's saying it's gotten 38 links. So I got my referral link and then I have that, okay? So that's one way to check using your pretty links. You could also make a spreadsheet. I use pretty links to keep track of the links of where my links go, but you could also have a spreadsheet where you have your link, your login, all of that. Another way you can make links if you don't have a blog is called Bitly, B-I-T-L-Y. So say I got a Amazon link, I would say create a link, you're gonna paste your long URL there and you're gonna say create. You can customize it a little bit, you can copy it and then you can save it and then they show them all here by the click. So I haven't used this in a very long time and here's share a sale, this link. So this, it takes the long link and makes it look better. So if you're pasting it into um, YouTube, so it's a creative live link. If you're pasting it into YouTube, if you're pasting it into your blog and you or your you or your email and you want it to look like a better link, you would want to do that. Now, let's talk about so that's how to track them, how many referrals you've given. So there's affiliate programs that I've given thousands of referrals to. Giving a hundred referrals to Ninny and then not getting any commission is no big deal. Um there's a lot of places that you have to have thousands of referrals. So this is Creative Market. I refer them a lot. So I have 1,773 click-throughs click, click and 65 sales. So let's see what the percentage of that is. 65 divided by 1773 equals, so I have a 3% conversion rate, and that's pretty normal, right? A 2 to 3, 2 to 4% conversion rate. What that means is that for every 100 people I sell, I'm going to get three sales, right? But that's over time. So the more people you send, the better you'll do, all right? So don't get freaked out if you've sent a lot of people to somewhere and they haven't sold any. The next thing you want to do is you want to um, check and see which of your programs are doing the best. So like for here, I've made 1,800 on Creative Live, 900 on, on, Share, on Tailwind, 146 on Rocky Mountain Oils, right? So you want to find out, like I love Pinch of Yum, but they don't, they don't, I don't get paid very much for them. I love share a sale and that's going to grow as I refer more people, but you want to really know which of your, um, which of your affiliate partners, especially in an aggregator like share a sale are doing the best, right? Um, then you want to do kind of check out your reports on your activities. So this will tell me I got a 50 cent tailwind referral today. That's for a lead. 
And then I got one for share a sale. Somebody signed up, or I think this is a second tier. So this is a second tier. So somebody on sh that I referred to share a sale sold something. So I get a little tiny commission for that. That's nice. This is for Tailwind. They are recurring. So every time somebody pays for the year again, I get almost $20. So you want to start to try to figure that out. But there's lots of reports. You want to see um, what kind of, and I'm going to show you this in a different one. So you're going to want to take a look like this is um, in, in Amazon. I want to see a report. It's thinking and see which products are doing the best, right? So I just started really focusing on promoting my three tools to look better in um, like Zoom videos because so many people are doing Zoom videos. I noticed that this um, 16 people ordered through my link. So I need to start referring people more to that. So here, if we sort this by ordered through product links, three people ordered terry cloth face towels. Now that's from my uh, Alzheimer's how to clean up poop post. Um, this is an anchor USB because I had to, it's I, somewhere, I have a link to that. Um, light reflector, I love that light reflector. It's in my how to look better. Arc desktop. So I have a lot of arc things. That's that kind of how to make a notebook. And I have blog posts about it. I have Pinterest spins about it. I have lots of things about it. Um, leather notebook system right there. See, so I got 20 product link clicks. Now, I don't know why sometimes it shows you the product link clicks and sometimes it doesn't. I don't understand it, but that's fine. Um, OxyClean cleaning. That's going to be something that I recommended bicycle large print cards. So that's for the Alzheimer's people that have trouble seeing. Amber spray bottles are for my essential oils. So you can come back here and you can start to see, oh, okay, these are the posts or the links or the referrals that I'm doing well with. Now you can get that same kind of report. This is for my, um, two, 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 let's say for a week. This is for my Etsy, and I want to see what kind of um, things that my Etsy people are selling. So I'm going to say Etsy. I just did that, and and to give you an idea, oops, is it going to let me do it? Etsy, Etsy. I think I may have to scooch down. Okay, hold on. There we go. Save. Um, I did that apron post. Now I don't expect anything to happen on that apron post for, I would say a good month or two until it gets into, uh, into Google. So these are my two pages. So I can do a search and see, did anybody do an apron? Nope. No apron on this page. Let's see if anybody's buying aprons yet. Nobody's buying aprons yet. But I can see that they're buying mock-ups. I have a um, blog post about how to make mock-ups for digital product sellers. Um, I have a whole bunch of how to sell stickers, watercoloring paintings, um, card mock-ups, gift tag mock-ups. So those are all because of that one blog post. And now I'm making like 16 cents on these, right? So this is just this week. It's Wednesday. So there's not many days in this week so far, but cotton face masks, iPhone mock-ups, right? So I made 34 cents, but when you get them all together and you see like a month's worth of them, or let's say year to date, okay, then you start to see 11 things sold at 88 cents is $8, right? So 
then you're starting to get, oh, no, that's just 88 cents. But then you're starting to get makeup bags. I've sold four of, I've sold nine of those. I've made 488, right? So it's, I've sold four of these social distancing floor stickers and that's $22. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> um, so anyways, that's how you can start to take a peek and see what you think are doing well from the affiliate side, right? So you can look at your blog posts and see which blog posts do well or your you know, check your activity report and Facebook and things like that. But you definitely want to look from your affiliate side and see which affiliate partners and then which products are doing the best for you. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.